Dozens of people anxiously watched from the cart pass Sunday evening as a helicopter took off from the course. Inside, a pilot badly hurt. Like wheeling him out on a stretcher. Um, he was covered in something. Authorities believe the glider crashed into the trees Sunday afternoon. People like Jeff Matthews said they had no idea. We've had gliders flying over the golf course and we've had some one engine planes flying fairly low, but I have not seen any type of an accident. Matthews lives near Hold 2, about a thousand yards from the crash site. He didn't hear a crash or any cries for help. Woods behind number two green go back a fair, a good distance. And if he was back in there and 50, 60 feet up in the air and injured, I'm not surprised she couldn't hear him. By Monday, neither Jeff, I mean, you can't get through those woods, other neighbors, or the general manager for the golf course That's over 50 yards. could exactly pinpoint where this happened. I was hoping that we, I don't see any light. Debris. Ainsley Conrad walked us to the crash site, even with her knowing oh, where to look. It should be like right up there. I mean, it still took 15 minutes through water and brush. Uh, yeah, and there's the orange thing. Caution tape sits around the tree where the glider is still intact at about 50 to 75 feet above the ground. And this is almost my backyard, so it's, it's definitely wild because it's it's really dense. No, I did not expect to see all this police tape or all the, I didn't expect to see that either.